Hello dear friends, today we will be talking about the self ionization of water or you can also correlate it with the ionic product of water and once you have derived this theory in addition you can also prove that water is neutral compound. So with respect to the title, we would simply write the equation for water in the sense H2O in the liquid form. You know water ionizes very slightly into its respective ions that is H ion and OH ion, very slightly. So as they ionize into H ion and OH ion, an equilibrium will be set up between the water which has remained unionized and whatever part of water has got ionized into H ion and OH ion. So this will be a reversible uh, reaction. We can show it this way. The simple analogy over here can also be considered that this is H plus. It can also be considered in the form of H3O plus. The meaning remains the same because this part when you take one mole of water or many moles of water for, for simplicity for your understanding if I write H2O plus H2O plus H2O plus H2O in numerous molecules then you know only one part whatever the minimum ionization of water is only that part ionizes and rest part of water remains unionized. So the H ion will combine with the lone pairs present on oxygen and that will convert into H3O+. So whether you write this equation or this, the meaning remains the same. Okay, now as an equilibrium is set up, fine, we can give an equilibrium constant as KEQ and that is nothing but the concentration of products to that of reactants. Over here you can consider it in the form of H ion or H3O plus as one of the product concentration and another is OH minus that also we write over here and what is the undissociated part of water that is the concentration of H2O we write over here. Now you know in general if we consider the mass of 1 liter of water at 25 degree Celsius temperature. What is the mass of water? Anywhere in the world you go, the mass of water for 1 liter at 25 degree Celsius remains the same and that is always nearly 1000 grams. So for 1 liter of water at 25 degree Celsius, the mass is always 1000. So we can calculate the concentration of water in the form of molarity as weight of the substance upon its molecular weight into 1000 that's a factor upon the volume in ml. Weight of the substance that is what is water is 1000 grams so I'll write 1000 for the same. The molecular water mass of water is 2H means 2 1 oxygen is 16 total makes 18 in 2000 upon volume in milliliter we are talking about 1 liter that means it is 1000 milliliter and that consumes 55.55 as the concentration so wherever in the world you consider the temperature 25 degree celsius the undissociated water concentration is always 55.55 so what i'll do I'll write KEQ into the concentration. What is that? 55.55 because we are taking this H2O over here and that is equal to the concentration of H ion and OH ion. If you want, I can write one more step for you. This is into concentration of water and that is equal to concentration of H ion and concentration of OH ion. Fine. Now this will give us a new constant and that is the constant for the ionic product or self ionization of water and so we write KW and that is equal to concentration of H ion to that of OH ion. Now 
the experimental results have concluded that the value of Kw at 25 degrees Celsius is 1 into 10 raised to minus 14. Fine. So if we place that value over here, 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 is concentration of H ion to that of OH ion. That individually we can find the concentration of H3O plus and concentration of OH minus equally. How and why? Because we know that if the value of Kw that is ionic product of water is 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 then water ionizes equally into H ion and OH ion. As it ionizes equally whatever concentration form of H ion is same is the concentration form of OH ion and due to that we can say that H ion and OH ion if you substitute this OH ion for H ion we can say that H ion square is 1 into 10 raised to minus 14. H ion square is 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 and therefore H ion concentration is 1 into 10 raised to minus 7. Similarly, if these two concentrations are same and now if I consider the OH ion concentration substitute for H ion, then OH ion square is the same and therefore the value of OH ion is also 1 into 10 raised to minus 7. So now you can see for both H ion and OH ion the values are 1 into 10 raised to minus 7 respectively. Fine. This implies that yes, water is neutral because when we calculate the pH of water it comes to be 7 and for value 7 any compound is considered to be neutral for your uh, simplicity and recall I would say pH is negative log to the base 10 of H ion concentration or you can consider POH is equal to negative log to the base 10 of OH minus concentration if we place the values of H ion and OH ion respectively in this equation automatically finally we end up with the same as pH to be 7 or even pOH will be the same that is 7 so if pH and pOH are 7 it implies that water is neutral so this is known as self ionization of water or you can consider it as ionic product of water I think you have followed this on this basis you can also understand the ionization constant for a weak acid and ionization constant for a weak base which we are going to talk in the next episode so say, stay tuned and see that you prepare this topic very well wish you all the very best see you then mm -hmm.